Hi everyone, this is just a quick tech tip tutorial on navigating Google Slides. Now with Google Slides, there are so many possibilities um, that this tutorial is just a quick overview and not going too far in depth of, as to what it can offer. So what I've done right now is what you're seeing on the screen is just me going to Google Drive and clicking on New Slides. You can see that it starts with a uh, sort of template with just a title slide here and you can um, this is where you could add your title and maybe this would be more text uh, moving forward as well. So that's what it gives you to start. Um, you, you're not uh, mandated to use this one slide, but it is there. But you also notice on the right hand side, it does pop up with some themes. And if you don't choose it right now, you can change to themes later on. Um, but it's always a good idea to think about what you would like to do first as you're moving forward. So I'm just moving forward. I'm going to click on click this one and see if it I kind of like it. it gives me some fonts to look at I'm okay with it I'm going to click on close so now really what I'm going to do is first of all I should always give it a title uh, a presentation if it has an already name so I'm going to give this um, like Tuesday tips Google slides <clears throat> and I have my title and some text that I've already put in there so some of the common questions we get is just about looking at how do I add text boxes? How do I add images and shapes and so forth? And so I'm just going to kind of stick right here to a lot of the uh, toolbar as we move for forward with this. If I wanted to add another slide, there's multiple ways to do it. If I like this slide, I can always um, right click and copy and right click and paste. And you can see that there are shortcuts. So that's, that's always handy. Um, but what if I wanted to change this uh, slide? Um, into a different format. Up at the top, it says plus new slide. And if I do plus new slide, it is going to give me a, a very similar layout as what I was in there. Different themes to give you different default slides off there. But what do I mean by that? Is if I click on the drop down arrow, arrow or chevron, I should say, um, you can see right now if I wanted to add a slide, I could add, choose what I want to add. So the title and the body is very common because this one would be your um, slide uh, title. And here would be your text. And that's, that's a very popular one. And as you move forward, you can kind of see little overviews developing on the side. If I wanted one with multiple uh, text boxes, I could click on it and again, give it a, a title. And then here is a text box one, and here is text box two, and that's okay. A lot of people like that one. What if I wanted kind of a title, a text box, and a place for an image? Again, slide layout, and there is that kind of one column with one text. So it's basically however you want to do and set up for yourself. Now, a lot of people like to take the time um, and set up one Google slide with uh, kind of your default template. So it doesn't have to be one of these templates. These are all blank. But if I wanted to give a slide title and a text box, and this might be my master slide, I could um, have type of things set up if I wanted to. Um, a text box maybe that I've uh, moved into a smaller format. And again, in one of my previous, in our previous videos in our Tech Tuesday, we're inserting images. So I'm just going to insert an image. And again, you can do that from this area. So you see the insert image, insert image, search the web. And what we looked at before was Parliament Hill Parliament of Canada. And we could have that on our master slide. So if I don't have to insert this every single time, I could insert into my slide deck, I could set it up, I could spend lots of time on a slide, I could right click on the slide, um, depending on, on the box or not, and I could look at different formatting options that I have for my slide. So on back here, you can see if I click on the, the slide, uh, the title, I get kind of different options than I do if I click not on one of the text boxes. So for now, I'm going to change the background. And I'm just going to change the color to um, let's see something, maybe I'll change it to gray. So I can click done. So I have this gray slide and I don't want to do this every single time where I just have a title and a text box. And I keep that image on the bottom right hand corner. I can then copy 
and paste, which can be control V as well. And you can see that as I am on the side and I just press paste with control V, I've now copied my slides over and over again so that the theme stays the same throughout the whole time. And that's a great, great option to have as well. In um, my back to my regular title, I'm just going across the toolbar a little bit. If I click on the title box, I can, of course, highlight and then change the uh, font size by clicking on it and making it smaller by clicking 24 uh, in this case. Or I could type in something that maybe made sense to me. I can italicize. I can underline. I can then go with the text color. Maybe I want this to be a different color. And um, in here, this is the background. This is like highlighting. So if I highlight it, it'll just highlight. Now it's not highlighting the text box. So if I wanted to go back, I can, of course, undo. Or I can look at this option right here, which is the fill color. The fill color is uh, could be the background of mine. So if I want the whole box yellow, you can see that that box changes yellow um, as we move forward. If I wanted to add another text box, um, here's click to add title. And here was my text box. If I wanted to do that, I could click on text box and add it in here and start typing. Now you will see um, based on the theme that sometimes it matches the text, but sometimes it's not perfect. So if I erase um, the, the text in there and I click off, you will notice that you still have the text box there. So if you right click on it, you should be able to cut. And sometimes yeah, I need to do that a couple times. But if I click on this text box just once, um, if I do control D, it actually duplicates. I remember that on a, on a PC, control D for duplicate, because then um, it just means that I, I have two of the, te uh, the duplicate things set up, which is great. So as I go across um, and I look at my different options, you can see that here on this title slide, as I go back to it, I'm just continuing to go across. Um, I have border color. So border color, I may want to be this color, and I may not be able to see it too much, but you can see it slightly there. I can make that a bit thicker if you wanted to. So that's border color. You can see that layout is across here. Themes, if I wanted to go back and change the theme is across there. And then transition is a piece that um, happens as you go through from slide to slide. So if you wanted to present, that is something that you uh, needed to look at. So that is part of our options. And the last thing I'm going to show you on this quick overview, again, these can all be narrowed down and spent lots of time on each of these pieces. If I have text in there and I wanted to um, comment on it, whether I'm collaborating with other students or leaving something for a note from my teacher, um, if I go to up at the top and you can see that um, if I wanted to insert, it also comes up in different options, but insert, and you can go further down, comment, and you'll see that little symbol, that little plus symbol shows up. Um, Control Alt M does it too. If I leave them, I can leave a comment in the margins, which is also helpful. And then people who are on that doc can see it. I can also add some in the speaker's notes, and this does not show up on the slide. So this could be used for planning or um, for feedback as well. If we needed to, the comments are good for that. But for planning, you could have that, and that does not show up in the slides. So lots of things across the top, and I've really only focused on these parts right here, um, and then copying and pasting are very, very uh, popular. And of course, our explore button and the insert images like we've done on our previous video. So just a quick overview of some of the things that uh, we receive from our system about what we could use Google Slides for, and just uh, showing them what that looks like on the toolbar as well.